on the first day I, of working with Bramwell Tovey, I sat down with him and he said, Richard, I've got something very serious to tell you. And I was like, oh my God, what? And he goes, I want you to know that when I am composing or when I am conducting, I am completely in charge. And I'm like, uh-huh. Oh God, what's he going to say? And he goes, on this, I am a servant to your vision. And I was like, oh. Well, one of the things the two distinct time periods gave us was the ability for me to write music in the style of the 1940s. In a sense, the musical unifying factor of, uh, of the two scenes uh, 60 years ago and uh, today was uh, really the fact that uh, ultimately the human condition doesn't really change. Uh, circumstances change, fashions change, styles change, but being a human being is really uh, an ongoing experience. If we could live for hundreds of years, I think we'd find very little difference between the kind of people who sat in Shakespeare's Globe and the kind of people who are gonna sit in the cinema watching this film. So while the script may be operatic, the score is most definitely a soundtrack. It's a, a kind of subliminal commentary on what's actually happening on the screen. That really is what music does. It's rather like something that congeals and just fills in the cracks, like the boy putting his finger in the dike. It's just the essential ingredient just to, to make uh, everything else stand. Today I was shooting uh, the scene um, in which um, Hannah is performing to the troops, and uh, it's a song called In a Heartbeat, uh, which was written and composed by Bramwell Tovey. In a heartbeat when our eyes meet and I see a little boy with his hair neat and his smile sweet and a rifle for a toy at that moment in my lifetime I just shouted out for joy that's how long it takes to fall in love for In a Heartbeat, we needed a song that was period, that felt like it was from the Second World War. We were toying with various songs, going through a number of songs which uh, I regard as classics in the Second World War. I had a, a songbook at home of uh, 50 Second World War songs, and we were pretty much playing through it when Richard went into the house to get himself another cup of coffee, my studio being in the garden. By the time I came back, he was playing something. He was playing da-da-dun, dun, da-da-dun, dun, dun, dun. And I was like, well, that's good. What song is that? And he said, no, I'm, I'm composing right now. <laughs> and I said, where did that come from? And he said, well, the grandfather says... A heartbeat dip. Sometimes that's how long it takes to fall in love. So I just started playing a heartbeat. So he took the word and just said, what would that sound like musically? Grandma wanted me to go off and write the lyrics. And uh, so I went off and I wrote some lyrics. And I presented them to him and he's like, oh, let's fix this, let's change the word jubilee to jamboree. And then we started working together and it was such a surreal moment. I felt so honored to be working with Grandma Tovey because he's, he's such an accomplished man. I had never written a song before. And he looked at me while he was at the piano and he said, wow, this is why all the great songs were made by writing teams, like Rodgers and Hammerstein, Kander and Ebb. And I felt like melting inside. When I finally finished the score and we finished recording and I put it all down, uh, you have this feeling that you're saying goodbye to people that you know very well, i.e. the characters in the movie. And actually, you're never gonna have that kind of relationship with them again.